Hopefully the playthrough will be satisfactory. <laughs> yeah, beta. How do you apply? I think it's actually the alpha, but you get on their mailing list. I don't know if they've uh, they've done a cutoff yet. But I know I've also gotten many emails from them. That, uh, maybe not many, but uh, Coffee Coffee Stain Studios also published... Uh, uh, they also published Deep Rock Galactic, and they specifically had reached out to me to send me a key. So for Locky, they'll just do the same with uh, Satisfactory, and I won't have to think about it. Empyrean also has some automation, but the jank is real in that game. Yep, did a series on Empyrean. In fact, I actually got an email uh, from the Empyrean people asking me to come back to it. Um, I think a day or two ago. I'm, I might. I don't know when though. Last time I tried coming back to Empyrean, uh, it like bugged out, and I had like an AI cruiser hovering above my head, shooting me the moment I like, uh, the moment I like walked out. Uh oh. Okay, so y if you jump while going down a hill, you'll go, go into a power slide and potentially kill yourself. Good to know. A sky flying skyfish glidable. Can you build a base on them? I don't think you can build a base on them. Though that would be rad. Makes me think of those uh, water, those like sea whales in, in uh, Subnautica. Always wanting to build a base on them. I don't think you could. I don't remember if you could or not, but I, I think it was one of those where you weren't able to. That always made me sad. It's not a bug, that's something you have to avoid. It's a shame, because power sliding shouldn't make it so you take like uh, fall damage. If you took like consistent damage as you fell, I'd be fine with it, but it's. It's very much the, like, you hit bottom and it's just like, you, you considered you fell that entire distance. Yeah, I bet I could put on my glide pack and actually, uh... Reduce the damage that I take. But no, if anything, they should actually turn that, that bug... I, I'm gonna call it a bug, because I, I highly doubt that's a design feature. Uh, but if anything, they should actually uh, take it and kind of run with it. I, how rad would it be if you could actually like slide down, uh, if you could slide down slopes and whatnot in this game? Oh, I see it. The world ship in Empyrean. Sorry, that's what you're talking about. Well, no, it it was definitely a bug because it didn't move. It didn't have any AI, and it didn't even have any collision. Uh, it was it was very much bugged out. It was it was not just a like. A, just like the things there to harass you or kill you or whatever. It also showed up within like I think two hours of me playing the game and more or less made the game unplayable. Like that that very much is either a bug or a really really bad design choice. At which point I call it a bug anyway because like no good developer should consider that a good idea. It's like hey welcome to uh welcome to the game. Fuck you. Not a not a good way to handle things. I gotta remember to turn these things off. Anyway, what can I make? So I can make some more armor. We should probably consider as such. Uh, let's see. So worker helmet. Move speed, shield regen delay, worker boots. So there's randomized stats in here. So worker backpack, soldier. Soldier seems to maybe be more uh, durability. What else do we have? Stalker. So worker seems maybe cheaper, but not as good. We also have like padded boots. Scanner, so adds distance to your scan range. Range finder, I'm not sure why this even exists. Repair tool, no. Hand drill. For mining ore, okay. So we, wa we want to make one of these. That'll cut down the grind a little bit. Let's see, liquid resources. Am I not making any of these? Alternatively, I just grab the multi-tool. Let's just make the multi-tool instead. Okay, I made the hand drill. But maybe hand drill and multi-tool. How about an extractor? Well, it looks like these can actually be used for multiple things. Yeah, mining factor 0.5. I don't know about this though. Because your yeah, hand drill is only good for one of those. Extractor is only good for 
Yeah, so multi-tool is probably a good idea. Knife, hatchet, sword. I can slash. Oh, something's... Uh, deep freeze, eh? How do I make a wall? Wall. Can I... Can you work with me on this one? I'm just going to enclose myself in this. Damn it. Okay. I hate building in these games sometimes because it, it really, like, the predictive uh, build spots are just kind of annoying. More than useful. Okay, and we'll do not lit wall. But we want to go back to ceiling. I'm going to live in a giant box. That's the only way I know how to survive here. Oh, this is going to get claustrophobic. Actually, hold on. It stopped already. Well then, that makes this easier. Uh, we might as well put like a second floor to this thing instead though. Like, let's let's actually build my giant box up. And this way at the very least we won't get attacked as often. Question. Can I cancel that? Okay, cool. So at the very least we can have a, uh, a base. There's also lit walls, which is something I should maybe consider. But what's that require? Require some copper. Uh, Built-in lighting for your base, also windows, also force field doors. So let's start with that. Um, hmm. Corner walls, dome, dome adapter, corner wall, corner wall. Window light wall. Oh, but it does consume some power here. Let's cancel some of these. Because some of these I can use. So I might just put uh, doors kind of on ev every side. So window light wall, window light wall, window light wall. wall. Yeah, because this way at the very least I'll be able to pop out of the base at any point. Okay. Force field door. And yeah, we'll be able to power this thing pretty quick. So, it's the force field door. Where do I put the stairs? I didn't really give myself a whole lot of space for stairs here. I don't even know. Ramp. Okay. Oh. Okay. Let's cancel. Let's cancel a lot of these. Whoa, hi. I look very strange. Let's not do that. All right, ramp. Actually, cancel the ramp for a second. Let's let's get those walls on first. And let's just get some windows. Okay, so we want to do... It was ramp next. have multiple stories to this. This this sucker uh this sucker might be a little bit large. But I think that's fine. What I might do is just kind of have a, a ceiling to this first, and then we'll we'll just kind of complete it as a second floor instead. Insufficient support. Okay. It might just be... I'm, I might be able to just kind of jam a bunch of ceilings together. As long as they're connected. Yeah. Okay. This this will be fine. I just needed... You can't just do, like, the infinite bridge. And I'm out of iron. Well, that's fine. And yeah, I might be able to... I might just switch out some of these for, like, lit walls or whatever. 
I'm reminded of your Fallout bit builds. Yeah, I miss those. They were fun. Unfortunately, it was kind of one of those where it's like, they all looked really, really bad. It wasn't even that, like, uh... It wasn't even that the, uh... Build was necessarily bad, it's just like half the part parts were just ugly. I was just like, ah, I want to live in a nice looking little underground base. Not this, like, outside horror, horror monsterville. I don't know. <sighs> Speaking of Fallout, I really want to go back to playing Fallout before 76 uh, comes out fully. I guess we've got until November. I, I think I'm still going to try and get through uh, an amount of Darksiders first. Um, but I'd actually really like to, to go back to uh, do, like, at least one more Fallout 4 challenge. Probably like, uh, I don't know, I said I was going to do Never Leave Spectacle Island, that'd be kind of fun. Yeah, the parts actually look quite nice in this game. I think in a couple of years this will look uh, quite nice if they actually like work on it. There's just like kind of an inherent fuzziness of a lot of it, and repetition. And the monsters. Now, honestly, I'd actually rather this game only have like... Like, how cool would it be if there was only, like, a small subset of monsters in this game? Like, very, very small monsters that hunt in packs and groups and whatnot. And kind of rove the wilds, and every once in a while you've got, like, a big monster that comes by and kind of wrecks your shit, and you're like, oh, you know, you're, you're, uh, whoa, what was that? And this game can't handle sl uh, slants particularly well, especially if you jump on them. Let's see, does the multi-tool work for building? That's an interesting question. Let's find out. Oh, uh, multi-tool. Uh, well, it builds. Is that your, is that a quality answer for you? I was stupid. He's up. I can abolish it. Yeah, let's, let's just demolish a lot of these. Okay, so we've got the battery embankment. I'm going to keep the storage there, at the very least. Okay, so what, what can I go back and build? So we want the machine shop. We want the machine shop, and we want the, uh... Actually, let's cancel the machine shop for a second. We want the machine shop, but I'm gonna put it there. And we want the equipment workbench. We want it there. There. Anyway, let's go back to the build tool, because the build by punching thing is really stupid. And builds really slow. It'd be nice if you could actually just upgrade these, like, uh... Functions for the character itself. Uh, let's see. Anyway, I guess I might as well, uh, finish this side off. <laughs> this is how we build Russian Space Station. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> Imagine the sound effects, just a wet slapping noise. Oh, that'd be funny. I was thinking, actually, the, the rubber squeaky hammers. Doink, 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 doink. Ugh. That'd be, that'd be awful. You yeah, know, this actually doesn't look half bad. Am I, am I actually building this window wall? I can't tell. Like, it, it reminds me of Empyrean. Empyrean or Grav. Kind of the midpoint, actually. Because Grav was much more of a, like, a weird action RPG. And Empyrean was much more of like a almost... Almost space, space engineers. And this one kind of does away with the, uh... The build your own vehicle thing in favor of... Uh, a much more, like, substantive, nice-looking building system. Which... Like, realistically, this is going to look kind of nice. I almost kind of wish I had actually put more windows, windows on this, because I like the kind of open concept feel. I'm just going to enclose it in for now. Other nice thing about this game that I noticed, nights aren't particularly dark. How many of you guys remember my forest series? 
How many of you guys remember uh, how freaking it dark it got at all points of the, the night? Day, whatever. I remember very distinctly, like, playing that. I couldn't see shit at all. And then, like, I got a ton of YouTube comments being like, Turn up the brightness! Use your torch more! And I'm like, dude, I can't. This is maximum brightness, pretty much. There's nothing I can do. I really like those clouds. And, like, I, I totally understand, like, night is supposed to be dark, but it's just, like, from a video game standpoint, as a YouTuber, if a game is too dark, I just... I, I feel no... no, um... Compunction actually uh, play it. Because it's just like, I can't see anything. I can't do anything. Okay, so we got, we got some pirates incoming. I don't know when or where. Eventually I'd like to get some auto turrets on the outside of this thing so we don't even have to... They just kind of throw themselves at my defenses. I should probably actually get out there and fight. I'm just gonna kind of quickly boost up the HP of all of my bits. Okay, that's good enough. Let's just turn off the force field door. Uh, actually, we probably just want the the zappy zappy laser. I don't see the pirate ship coming by. I think the pirate's just gonna specifically go for me. Yep, there it is. Or what? Oh, there, there you are. I really wish you could actually just take one of these pirates' guns. That'd be nice. At least they're effectively just a free resource delivery. And a stupid one of that. Oh. Looks like we're about to get acid rain. Hopefully that doesn't, like, destroy my building. Wouldn't that be awful? Okay. Oh, good timing. Let's finish the roof off, at the very least. Uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, now I'm out of iron. I'll, uh, I'll have to rebuild some things, but that's okay. And yeah, this gives me a whole second floor to work with, and a wall to, like, kind of work along. And we're just going to live in a giant apartment complex of crafting stations until we have nothing else to build. I do kind of wish the crafting stations weren't, uh, entirely tile-based. What's up with these? Because we have windows and we have window light walls. I really don't like these. Let's destroy the windows. The window light walls work so much better. Okay, so we want... Wall. Oh. This is also a window. Let's... Let's demolish every... Everything on this side. Wall. Wall one. Wall two. And let's let's just do a window light wall. There we go. Yeah, that that'll look much better. It'd be really nice if uh, the walls were actually modular instead of having window light walls being like a separate thing. You could actually just add the windows in. Because notice that there's kind of like a middle, uh, there's kind of like this, you know, this section right here. If you could actually slap a window in there and you could actually, like, kind of have a giant wraparound window situation, that'd actually be really nice looking. Bit of a shame they don't have it that way. Oh well. I mean, it's not that it actually matters. Okay. Oh, so the, uh... Well, we should probably turn these off so the batteries can keep storing. I'm just gonna turn off the force field door. It's not that it matters. Okay, so... 
the grid is barely pulling any uh pulling anything. Why is the battery not storing that much? I mean these are these certainly aren't out of fuel. Or even close. And this thing has no normal drain. Yeah, it does look like the higher uh, the higher your your batteries, the faster you specifically can get your uh, power back. Okay, can you upgrade the engines for more power production? Yes, I think everything can be upgraded. I just gotta go get a bunch of iron. Which, like, I thought I had a bunch. I guess while we're waiting here, uh, let's grab the hand drill. Oh, I did get another health pack. Not that I need one particularly much. So I do have some titanium. I do have a little bit of iron, but I need a lot more. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Nope. Let's see if I can build a... It's probably under this storage container. Cool. I'm just going to build a couple of storage containers along this side. Uh, let's cancel this one, actually. There we go. I really wish I could actually get these to line up along the wall. Instead of kind of just sit out in the middle of the floor. Like, wall-mounted storage containers would look so much better than these just kind of... <sighs> ...middle-of-the-floor storage garbage. I do appreciate that you can upgrade pretty much everything in this game. That's a good feeling. Okay, let's go get let's go get us uh, some more iron. It should have all respawned by this point, and hopefully, hopefully my mining tool will uh, will improve the process as well. I really like the uh, the look of the sky. It that's one thing. A lot of games really suck at their sky boxes are just downright boring. If you're gonna have a game where you're like, yeah, th by the way, this is nighttime. Look at how dark it is. I assume most of you can see stuff. Um, but yeah, most most games never have good sky boxes, and admittedly, it's a little low res now that I'm looking at it. But whatever. Um, but no, I'd I'd much rather have a game that looks like this during nighttime than just like dark. Like, No Man's Sky, for all of its faults, No Man's Sky had probably the best skyboxes I have ever seen. Crap, I saw vids of, but never tried it. Wasn't it abandoned? I have no idea if it's been abandoned, actually. Um, I was there when it first came out, but then I kind of lost interest because it was having a bunch of, like, performance issues and griefing. Oh, God, the griefing was awful. Because, effectively, I was on a... Mostly PvE server, uh, at least at the time. However, uh, player-based turrets could still shoot at you, so you wouldn't destroy their base. So, somebody had the brilliant idea to effectively build a giant palisade wall around the starting area and cover it in guns, and the admins wouldn't do anything about it. And I was just like, well, screw this game. God, I, I forgot about Grav in so many ways. I have, like, a bunch of spare copies of it, too. I'll have to see if, um, my friends would like to, like, try it at some point. Mining gun use, moves in a peculiar way. Dude, like, all of the tools... Dude, check the, check the axe. This is, this is me swinging an axe. Can you even see the swing animation? It's, like, three frames of where the hell is it? This was made by people that could make good-looking stuff. But getting it to move, though, hmm... So isn't No Man's Skybox nice, because each star was actually something? Uh, you could never reach the stars, though. If I remember right, they were always infinite distances away. Maybe? And Gra Grav isn't showing up on Steam for you. Huh. Yeah, that game actually had promise, but yeah, I could, I could totally have seen them uh, abandoning it. It had promise, but the, uh... Trying to get it to the point where it was actually good and, like, viable... Uh, or, you know, worth buying might have been too tall of an order for them. They, 
The devs were nice, but I don't think they were ready for it. Survival sandbox games should always be single player first, not anything else. Actually, speaking of never finished uh, survival sandbox games, there's a game called Orlight. I assume nobody will recognize that name. I did one video on it. Um, but uh, Orlight was this actually kind of promising looking like sand sandbox survival. It was like isometric, kind of played like Diablo. Um, but it, it, it really did play like Diablo, but instead of like going back to a central town, you could, um, you, you could, you would, uh, you would, uh, like kind of build your own base and like go back to it and you could like warp between worlds and stuff. And it was really cool. Uh, and I really liked the idea of it. And pretty much, I, like, did a video on it, but then it, like, ran into performance problems. I'm like, alright, whatever, I'll do a video on it when they fix it. And then they just deleted it on off of Steam within, like, a couple of months or something like that. And I was so sad, because it, it had this, like, lovely, uh... Lovely, like, low-poly visual style, and, like, a bunch of other kind of neat bits. But, yeah, they, they abandoned that, like, immediately. So are the rock, extra rocks that come off the ore deposit sometimes titanium? Yeah, they might be. I think they are. Yeah, or light, never heard of it. Yeah, I covered it back when I only had a couple thousand subscribers. Most of your old videos no longer show up on your channel. Sadly, Wanderlust Chronicles, for instance. Kind of sad, because there's a lot of stuff that would be cool to see. I was actually considering... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. Uh, I was actually considering, so a number of YouTubers have started, uh, doing a thing where they do a 24-hour, like, 24-7, uh, 24-7, uh-oh, uh-oh, ah, shit, and I'm dead, ah, oh, thanks, thanks, Slidey, Slidey McSlider game, I guess we have no friction on our feet, okay, I respawn up here, do I lose anything for that, we'll see how it goes, um, Can I get anything out of this? Inventory drop pod. Doesn't look like it's got anything in it. Oh, but I can demolish it for a uh, one iron. Huh. Sure. Fall damage is the thing that exists. Yeah, no, it's it's the fall damage that actually... Uh, the fall damage doesn't bother me. It's the fact that I slid to my death like that. Like, hmm... I... Like, I couldn't even stop that. I don't even... I, I don't mind the fact that you can slide all the way down. Ooh! Neat, neat thing about that, though. I did get another drone, so I'll be able to use that at the very least. Um... But anyway. Like, I don't mind the the uh, the fact that I, I slid down like that, necessarily. The main thing that I, I wish it had done was... Uh, let me, like, control my slide or something like that. I think I'm going to go put on the glider pack. Because um, if I put on the glider pack, it might actually just straight up take the take the damage down. Who knows? So one of the recent reviews says Grav's been abandoned for a year now and still listed as 20 bucks. Ugh. It's a shame, too, because, like, a lot of these survival sandbox games have promise. It's just the developers don't have the time or the skill or the funds to actually, like, realize that... that And it sucks, too, because it's like, then you have all these people that buy into it. I think I bought... No, I might have actually received Grab for free, now that I'm thinking about it. But, like, I, I was kind of an early adapter on, adopter on Grab, and some of my earlier videos... Some of my earliest popular videos were a couple of, like, pseudo-Grav guides. It took me forever. Uh, I love games like these, though. Really hooked on Avorion. That's because Avorion was good to begin with. Avorion was one of those, um... Uh, Avorion was one of those amazing, like, sandbox uh, games that they they could have just launched Avorion as, like, 1.0. And, and just called what it was 1.0, and no one would have been the wiser. It would have been awesome. But oh well. Anyway, 24-7 stream, you were saying. Right. Uh, so 24-7 stream, uh, so a number of YouTubers have been doing this where they just run kind of like a 24-7 a stream 
they're not streaming necessarily, but what they are doing is they're effectively just queuing up old videos for people to watch. As kind of like a constant live stream. And I kind of... I actually really hope YouTube um, sees people doing this. And they, um... Where is my corpse? This isn't me. I don't know what that skull is. Okay, where's where's my body? Wanderbot was destroyed by Gaia. Okay, over here. Um, but effectively, just kind of a uh, an endless stream of like kind of my old videos and whatnot. And so yeah, I could actually potentially just like queue up effectively a playlist of all my old content. There's a bunch of iron here. Where's my body? Did I just lose all my stuff? Or is it right here? There it is. There's my stuff. Okay. Multi-tool weapon. Oh no, I can't grab it. Oh! What? Okay. That's confusing. Hand drill. Uh, perfect. So now, now I can loot all. I, I can't? Why not? That's, that's confusing. Okay. Now, now there's nothing left. Perfect. Oh, that's the multi-tool. Which, as far as I can tell, is kind of completely useless and stuff. I know some Let's Players do replays. Yeah, it's like, I would feel a little weird to just re-hosting my content, necessarily. Um, but at the same time, I think it would be kind of a nice... Uh, it'd be kind of a nice way to give my old content, like, the light of day that it hasn't seen. I just kind of wish it was one of those where you could actually just uh, cobble it together kind of automatically with YouTube. Just say, like, yeah, I want... Uh... Wow, this multi-tool is pure garbage. Why would I even ha why would I even have this thing? Like straight up the the basic shooty shooty gun is about as effective. <laughs> Got you on follow if you game enjoy games like this in Avorian, I'll follow for sure. Dude, I loved Avorian. Uh some point I'll go back to it. I don't know when. Um uh, I don't know when, just because I think Avorian will be one of those that I'll go back to when it's 1.0 as well, because I had a blast playing Avorian. The main problem is just, uh, travel. Trying to get from, like, point A to point B got kind of cumbersome after a while. Mainly because somebody took all the good resources from the starting area, and then we had to go, like, ways out to get anything useful past that point. It was fun, though. Um. Anyway. Oh, let's just keep grabbing all of the iron as we go by. Let's see. Or if YouTube didn't just hide old content. I don't think it necessarily hides it. It's just like, I have over 10,000 videos on my, uh... I've got over 10,000 videos on my channel. I think YouTube just isn't built for people like me. Like, I think I've actually just kind of passively overloaded the whole platform. Uh, and so, like... There's only a couple of people that have this many, um... Uh... There's only a couple of people that I know of that have, like, this many videos out. Specifically... Oh, shoot, what's his name? I don't know, there's a couple of people that have done, like, a ton. Let's see. Got into the third tier in Avorian called Now Night. Yeah! No, there's... There's there's some fun guns at the end of... Uh, Avorian. There's... That's a... That is a legitimately good game. But yeah, the, um, let's see, what is it? What was I saying? I don't know. I just think it would be kind of a cool feature for YouTube if they, if they let you kind of cobble together an automatic stream that is effectively just a playlist of every, every game in whatever order you set. Because yeah, I would, I would have a, a stream that would just go from like Chroma Squad to Avorion to, you know, my old Cavern King stuff to, I mean, screw it. Let's go all the way back. Uh, Kingdoms of Ambler and whatnot. I'm 
I'm sure somebody would be interested in watching my old, like, uh... My old playthrough on Kingdoms of Amalur. Okay, gotta kill you first. That's an infinite sulfur deposit, so I figured I might as well capitalize on it. Yeah, so the, uh, the rocks that pop out of these, by the way... Um... Oh. No, it's giving me infinite zero sulfur. Whoa. Whoa, hi. Hold on. Am I actually getting any resources for this? I'm not really seeing anything... Go up. This is really silly. Okay, yeah, no, that's... Yeah, I'm getting, like, zero potassium nitrate. That's a bit of a bug. Amler was good enough. I think that was a great example of, uh... a game that was adequate at best. Not necessarily good. Not necessarily bad. Oh, you're over-encumbered. Yeah, it's probably I can't pick up anything more. That's why. Uh, but I don't know. Ambler was fun, but it wasn't good. You know, it was just kind of... I liked the combat. The weapons were fun. But, you know, the plot was meh. The RPG mechanics were meh. Everything was meh. Anyway, yeah. Wander, have you ever seen Worlds Adrift? Yes. Uh, I should probably answer that. So, I've seen Worlds Adrift. I don't know if I'm ever going to play it. Uh, Worlds Adrift is one of those games that might have been interesting. Um, but, unfortunately, uh, it's got, like, really hefty PvP. And I really don't want to... Or... Yeah, yeah, it's got really hefty PvP, so if I started playing it, I'd effectively have to constantly struggle to even keep my shit together, and it's just like, if they had public or uh, private servers where I don't have to worry about it, or like, a number of different things, I'd be really, really happy, but... They don't, and it's annoying. Interesting. Rocket boots. Jump height at the cost of energy. Okay, we want to put away some of these resources. Let's go over here. Uh, let's see, multi-tool. Can I... I'm just gonna... Nope, can't put it away there. Can I put it away here? Cool. Get out Get out of here, multi-tool. Wow, yeah, so I just got... Dying, I guess, just kind of refreshed my drone setup. We had a, a whole bunch of those... Resources. Cool. So, I guess if I want to make a drone army, all I have to do is just die a bunch. Okay, so this is going to be the equipment thing. I'm gonna pull, put away the uh, hatchet too. It's garbage. Uh, glider armor. Actually, we we want the glider armor, but we want it in a bit. Grab these. I'm gonna try and put away the useless garbage. Uh, let's see, potassium. We want the iron. 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 We should hold on to. Sulfur might be useful. I don't... Titanium will be useful. Let's take the silica, put the plastic. I mostly just want to put, uh, you know, not-so-useful uh, resources in here. Dude, do we need another Fallout Robot Challenge with this? Fallout Robot Challenge? You want to explain? Oh. I think I might might have more pirates coming this way. Whatever. Yep. Two pirates of level three. Okay, well, I think I'll be fine for a second. Let's turn on the equipment workbench for a second. I'd go with a gun, but let's let's just get the uh soldier equipment quick. Probably still going to get uh, attacks here, but I think we'll be fine. I don't think they're gonna actually do too much damage to me. Oh, there they are. Uh, we might actually get the uh, soldier helmet done at the very least. Nope, not even close. Oh, and they just kind of drop down around here. Okay. Okay, so where's, where's the other pirate pirate dudes? Oh, he hurt.
Okay. We had one pirate. We have two and three pirate? It said two pirates of level three. So there should be a drone around here. Oh, there it is. It's just kind of do dozing off. Doing something. I don't know. We are going to have to get some better equipment, though. That is officially going to take some time. I gotta make some steel. Okay, uh, let's, let's go upstairs. I'm just gonna put the resource fabricator. No, let's actually put the resource fabricator right here. That's something that we're going to need more of. Uh, let's see, materials processor. Sure. Whoops. T? Can I fix this? Okay, I can just fix it. Turns out I still have my drill equipped. It's not that it was super obvious. Does this game have a hunger, thirst, survival system? Uh, not... Nest, sort of. Uh, so instead of hunger and thirst, I'm a robot man. Uh, it might be kind of hard to see, but yeah, I'm a robot colonist, so the instead of hunger and thirst and whatnot, I just have, uh, power. So, effectively, think oxygen in, uh... in space engineers. Okay, so we want to craft, repeat. This is going to take some time, isn't it? Can I, like, walk away? I think I can. Yeah, I'm just going to let that make steel, because that's going to take for freaking ever anyway. Are you still going? Okay, it is going. It just stopped for some reason. That was weird. It doesn't sound as fun to me, but still different and cool. I like it because it's less fiddly. Uh, food systems can be really fun in games and like, don't starve, but if it's done poorly, it's just boring. Um, easy example would be, was that a worker helmet? Or no, okay, soldier helmet. And a bunch of extra max shields. Sounds good to me. So we need... We need things. So we don't want worker. The worker, I think, does increase my inventory space. Maybe? I don't know. I think I'm gonna just go soldier with this. Soldier legs, soldier forearms, soldier's boots. How much inventory space does that give me? It doesn't really say. You should upgrade these slow machines ASAP. Yep, unfortunately I'm really comically low on... Well, I'm not comically low on steel. Uh, it's going to take a while before I actually have any, uh, have any steel because it takes forever to produce. It looks like I might actually have to... Uh, Oh, you know what I could do? I bet I could put down a robot and have it haul. Because I think, uh, I think the reason why these didn't craft until I was directly next to them is you straight up have to, uh, you straight up have to be looking at these. Oh no, that's bad. Love having to farm, hunt for food and supplies and cook things. Actually loved Metal Gear Survive for that reason. I'd like to play Metal Gear Survive someday. I'm kind of uh, under no illusion that it's probably going to be kind of eh. What slot is that? I have no idea. Unless maybe you can have like two two boots or something. But yeah, let's, let's get the full... Uh, armor set first, so I can be be strong, but never die. Actually, no. Hold on. Storage container. Let's grab you. Grab you. Grab grab you. Okay, two. Where, where'd it go? There you are. Okay. I don't want you to follow me. I want you to craft. We'll speed up items that are being crafted as, required as any required materials are available. Use it. Use the settings to determine which crafting structures it should pay attention to. Okay. So let's let's specifically modify you. Yep. This guy is supposed to be uh, materials processor only. 
I think. Okay, and it needs some iron. Well, it looks like it's going to just make the steel work, so we're just going to leave that drone to work that. Okay, uh, did, did it cancel my soldier forearms? I guess it just stopped for whatever reason. Maybe when I told the robot, uh, the drone to stop working. But yeah, I'd like to play Metal Gear Survive someday. I'm under no illusion illusions that it's probably going to be kind of iffy. Um, oh, I was working on the soldier legs, which I still don't have. Whatever, that's fine. Oh, I think it put them in the chest. I see. Oh, that doesn't need to be there. Uh, there we go. Oh, you're right. It did. What are you doing? Okay. It's supposed to be on this. Powered on, acknowledging commands. Cool. It just kind of zonks out a little bit. Unless... Unless this somehow ran out of materials? No, it's just... it's just going. The drone AI seems really garbage here. Okay, well, that's fine. We kind of already knew that they weren't very good. Let's just get the soldier soldier boots done, and then we can look into the other stuff. I'm curious what this other hand is, uh, as far as, like, equipment goes. But at least this way I will be tank man, and then we don't have to worry about too much. Put iron and wood in the chest. Yeah, that might actually uh, be what's required. I don't know. 